Well, joining us now in the studio is Dewa Mavinga, a senior researcher at the Africa Division of Human Rights Watch. Very good evening to you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Essentially, he's served 10 of his 18-year term um, you know, for those war crimes committed between late 2002 and early 2003. He has now been acquitted. Essentially, what has changed? Well, this was a shock decision by the ICC. Uh, which had uh, convicted him as the commander for command responsibility for crimes, sexual abuse and rape, uh, murder crimes committed by his troops in the Central African Republic uh, in 2002 and 2003. Uh, it was clear that he was the only person indicted for those crimes and uh, sustaining the command responsibility was a huge challenge and now the ICC um, decision uh, has found that he should be acquitted and this will send really shockwaves uh, to the conflict's victims, uh, survivors of rape and other abuses. Uh, it is unclear uh, where the ICC stands on this. It has to take responsibility because there was only one person indicted and it was uh, not for direct commission of the crimes but command responsibility because he was the head of his militia that had gone uh, into the north, um, not the neighbor of uh, the DRC. Yeah, just take us through the background initially of the five counts of war crimes that he was initially charged and also the, the criticism that came upon the initial charges. Uh, Amnesty International at one point also coming through saying that, you know, to somewhat this was biased against him. And we also had, um, you know, the organizations in Belgium, uh, you know, protesting or supporting um, Congolese residents saying that, you know, it was, it was unfair and um, he's clearly being politically targeted from the ICC prosecutor at the time. Uh, yes, there was a, a strong perception that the ICC pro prosecutor was uh, deliberately targeting him uh, in order perhaps to encourage uh, the then President Joseph Kabila to cooperate with the ICC investigations in the DRC. Uh, and uh, so that was a, a huge challenge in terms of the credibility of the ICC. And now his acquittal uh, as the ICC marks 20 years anniversary next month uh, brings into question serious questions about the ICC and how it went about this particular investigation and also of course that these crimes uh, including rape sexual abuse and murder uh, were crimes committed by his troops and mm -hmm. this was really an unprecedented case where uh, they had to find command responsibility so initially it was held as a groundbreaking uh, legal decision so now we are back to a position where it's unclear it's sending shockwaves amongst the survivors and also within the Congolese political establishment that is preparing for elections in December this year yeah currently uh, he will be staying in Brussels we do believe can you give us more details around that and also uh, whether he would be uh, then released immediately based on the decision and the outcome that is set to come? Uh, provisionally he has been released and his family already was staying in Brussels so he has requested for a short stay visa for 90 days initially to be based uh, in Brussels uh, but it looks like he might make a political comeback. Uh, he still commands a lot of uh, ground source support within the DRC and in terms of the constitution Joseph Kabila the current president is not eligible to stand for the upcoming elections in December 2018 and as such it gives um, uh, Bemba an opportunity uh, to uh, rally the troops but of course there are other groups already in the DRC that had been campaigning and pushing uh, for Joseph Kabila to step aside. Mm. So what it means is that uh, it, it makes the political playing field unpredictable. Uh, it's not clear whether Kabila would agree to step aside so, is, so the next steps really are anyone's guess in terms of what yeah. happens next. And in, in, in enjoying that support, what do you think are the, the structures for political playground there, specifically when he goes back? And what has the reception also been from those supporters in the DRC on hearing his acquittal? Uh, he, he, there has been uh, strong support uh, celebrations, but there are other groups um, that had been working on the ground uh, already 
uh, that had been preparing to challenge Kabila. Uh, there has been strong domestic resistance to Kabila as well as international resistance uh, to push for him to respect the two-term limit uh, and not contest in this upcoming election. So um, this then presents an opportunity for Bemba, who uh, continued to control his party even from the prison cells uh, when he was there for 10 years. Definitely. And then in terms of just going back to your, your statements around the credibility of the ICC, what essentially does this mean going forward and what sort of uh, standpoint of view can we uh, see coming from the ICC? Well, you will be aware that the ICC has been under uh, a lot of pressure recently mm -hmm. and as it uh, celebrates 20 years uh, next month, uh, the key challenges have to do with what lessons have been learned from this case. What does it mean um, to have an acquittal coming 10 years into the sentence uh, by Bemba and what does it mean for the victims uh, who uh, were looking f uh, to reparations to support. Um, so there are a number of lessons to be learned, but one of the key issues is the credibility of the ICC, which needs to be salvaged so that it can be clear that the ICC remains a global platform for international justice. This case undermines that perception and view. And any threat that he could possibly have to the current Kabila camp uh, for those elections that are set out later this year? Y yes, he does. Bemba uh, presents a huge threat. And also, of course, uh, the push for Kabila not to stand in these elections because at law, domestic and international, he is not eligible. So uh, we are bringing in now, we see that Bemba is um, a wild card. He's, he was not factored in. He is coming in. Most likely, he might then uh, join the campaigns uh, even if uh, he is um, uh, asked to save a portion of uh, his outstanding uh, sentence with regards to interfering with witnesses. Uh, he would still be uh, out by November to uh, campaign when the, the campaign uh, season begins in earnest in the DRC. Definitely. We thank you very much for your time Great this pleasure. evening. That was Dewa Mavinga, senior researcher from Southern Africa Human Rights Watch, talking about the acquittal there of Jean-Pierre Bemba from the Democratic Republic of Congo.